Good evening everybody, this is Miss Ingram and I am back with a video on how I embedded my uh, classroom link for a unique learning system into my Schoology course, um, Schoology course. Um, so to start out, I've logged into my unique learning account and I'm going to go to my students. And again, real quick. All right. For some um, confidentiality reasons, I have removed my actual students. So I just have a sample student here. Um, so when I click on my student, I can come down to login settings, and I can choose either a simplified password, username, and text password or a QR badge. So I teach younger students um, and so I really prefer the simplified password um, and typically I just use their first name. So not only is it easy to remember for a student and parent, but we're also working on them um, being able to recognize and spell their name. So I've already set up the password for my sample student. So if I'm doing the simplified password, then I need my um, special classroom link, and I get that right here above add and drop student. You click on classroom login link. Um, if you haven't already created a link, you just simply click this add new link button. You can see I've already created one, named it Miss Ingram's class. Um, and so uh, the easiest way for me is I click this button to open the link in a new browser. And you want to copy this link. So I right click over here and I copy. Um, the reason why it's not showing you the screen you want to see is because I'm currently logged in under my account. And so when I'm logged in under my account, my student page isn't going to work. Um, you can only be logged in uh, under one thing. So to test this out and make sure I've got my correct link, I'm going to log out of my account. And I'm gonna come back up here and I'm gonna paste that link in and hit enter. And so this is what my classroom page looks like. So there's my student, click on my name and I can enter my password and I go in to the student view. I don't think I spelled that right. Um, so, the reason why I cannot see anything as a student is because I have not done a profile on this student yet. So um, you need to do a profile on your student and you also need to, it's telling me to configure student setup. So I'm going to log out. Um, and I will go ahead and show you real quick where to do the student configuration. So back over here to my students, click on my student, and I'm going to, and right here, down at the bottom, it says configure student view. So I've got my student, and I'm going to configure their view. Um, so set reading level priority. This is where I need to configure it. So based on your student, um, this student's a little bit higher, so I want them to have the B-level books. So I've moved that up to the top, and I'm going to hit save. And now it tells me that I have, um, I have configured my student view, and it's successful for the student. So now I want to go to my Bitmoji slide that I've created for my classroom. I've already got my icon here for unique learning that I just pulled off of um, Google. And you can see I've got this highlighted by clicking on it. I'm going to go to Insert, Link, and now I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna paste that very long unique link from my classroom and I'm gonna hit Apply. 
Again, if you want to test it out and make sure it works before we go put this into Schoology, you can click on it. <laughs> and I have not logged out of my teacher account. Let me log out. And we'll try this again. Okay, so back over here. All right, I'm gonna click on my link. And now there's my, um, my sample student. Now that we've got them configured, let me type in this password. And there's my sample student and the lessons that are currently assigned to that student. Okay. So it's in my Bitmoji classroom. So now I'm gonna go into my Schoology account. And we're gonna go into my sandbox. And I want to go to updates. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna go to my resource folder. I'm gonna go to my apps, and I'm in my Google Drive resources. If you have more than one uh, Google Drive account, maybe a personal and your um, school one, um, you'll want to make sure that you're in the correct one. Um, the content that I'm seeing right here is from my school account. So I'm going to click on my Bitmoji Classroom and you go to import. So currently you see that there is no import embed, which is what we need. So the way I was shown to do this is I'm going to go back to materials. I'm going to add materials and I'm going to pull up a page. And then I'm going to go up here to insert content and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on this back on my Google um, just to reconnect it, close this out, insert content, check on link. It was Okay, so now if that connected correctly go back to updates, resources, apps, and then my Google Drive. And now when I click on my Bitmoji Classroom, I've got the import embed. Not sure why it has to be that complicated, but when I was trained, that's the way I was shown. Um, so now I can import that um, in. I want this to stay at the top of all my pages. So if my students go to look at the materials where I'm assigning um, their work for today, I want this to be at the top. So I'm going to check this little box here. I'm going to post this. So now it's at the top under my announcement. So if I come back over to materials where I would put my student work for the day, um, you can see here, um, it's still at the top. And so if I click my link, it's going to take me out and it's going to take me back to this student. If you've never logged in as a student, the way to log out as a student is there's a ghost button down here. You can't really see it, but if you hover over it, you're going to see that hand. Because remember, you can only ever be in one account. So if you've logged in as a student on your computer, you will not be able to log into your teacher account until you have logged that student out. Just FYI, that kind of caught me off guard in the beginning. So now this is in my Schoology course. So I told you there was another way to do this. Um, if you're not using the unique, um, the simplified password, you have your two other options of the QR badge or the username and password. And to get to um, that login, it's a much shorter web address and so I've had success with Schoology accepting it. It won't open it within Schoology, but it will take you to an external link. So I'm going to go to add materials. I'm going to add a link. Click on the link here. And I'm going to type in the web address student.n2y.com. You're going to want to click this. Currently, this is set for it to open up within Schoology, um, and I have not had any success with Schoology recognizing it. I always get an error code. 
So I'm going to go ahead and click this so that way it displays in a new window and I'm going to add. And it, re it populated down here, but now when I click on this, it's going to take me to this student login page. So if I've created a username and a password for my student, then by simply, simply clicking that link, they get to this and they can put in their username and password. Or if I've given them a QR code, they can click this and they can scan the QR code with their webcam or um, the camera on their iPad. Um, so with the student login, you can you can embed that anywhere um, within a page. Um, you can also do the same thing and you can embed that link up here at the top on your picture. Um, just make sure if you're going to embed a link into your Bitmoji classroom, you need to do that while you're still in Google Slides before you um, bring that over. So you just have to pick what um, you think will work best for you and your students, maybe their age. Um, I just find that the simplified password is best for my young students. So I use my personal link um, in here. So uh, let me know if you have any questions um, about this. Let me know if you have found another way that might be a little bit easier to do this. Um, but I hope everybody has a great year. Thanks for watching.